What I have today is the brand new BAM Geek Box. So this has been called the BAM Pop Culture Box now for, what, a couple years? Recently they changed over to BAM Geek Box. With the BAM Geek Box, the autograph 8x10 is Beckett Authenticated. Beckett's one of the big three authenticators in the country, JSA, PSA, and Beckett. So that's even cooler now. So this will have, like I said, autograph 8x10, Beckett Authenticated. There is a monthly pin, an art print, um, like a prop replica, and then there'll be a trading card, and then a scratch-off card where you can win PlayStation 4s and big screen TVs. Have I won? No. Will I win? Probably not. But somebody's got to win. Maybe me? Probably not. But yeah, let's go. Bam Geek. So they go by volume number and box number now, not by month anymore. So this is going to be like volume 8, box 5 or something like that, I think. There's usually paper on top of the box. This time there's no paper on top. See if I feel around a little bit. See what I can feel. Here we go. Here's a monthly pin. First item. Oh, yeah. This is like, I didn't even go over a price point. I think it's like 30 bucks a month. I'll make sure to leave a direct link down below to the BAM box. You want to check them out. They've got BAM Geek, BAM Horror, BAM Gamer. And then they have upgraded boxes like uh, they recently did a Back to the Future box and a Stephen King box. Those are more expensive, though. But they were full of good stuff. So, yeah website down below that is my affiliate link and feel free to check them out first item we have a monthly pin it says this pin has a limited release so some of these items in this could have an upgrade which means it'll be more limited than the normal release we have uh that's stranger things right i think yeah right isn't that stranger things and yes i will get half of these franchises wrong I know that, but that's okay. I don't know everything. I know about this much. Just enough to get me by in life. I think this Stranger Things. If this is a limited pin, the back of the pin will have a number on it. It'll be like numbered out of 50 or something like that. Pretty easy to tell pretty quickly if you're just one of the limited ones. And mine is not. No number, so this is just the common. And the common ones usually like, what, 2,000 of them, something like that? I think they do like 2,000 boxes or 2500 boxes they actually they used to make more of them but now they're actually making the boxes more limited now and uh some of these are actually like it's filled up like the boxes where you have to wait until there's slots available but uh you might you might wait like maybe like a month or something like that at most probably not very long let's see okay, here is the trading card and the scratch off yep the trading card this is uh Total blank. I. It's just not there for me. Usually, this card will match last month's card. I don't remember whose last month's card was. This looks like it's it's a cheetah. I don't know. Congratulations! This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a Nick sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Click both cards to make the set. This is numbered 1,388 out of 2,500. Artist by Jason Miller. I have to go back. The cheat sheet will tell us who, who that is. Here we go with the scratch off. Here we go. Will I win this time? Will I win? I got to match three symbols to win possibly like a big screen TV. Okay, first symbol. Free BAM box. I need to get two more of those. Next one is... PlayStation 4, so already I lost. But there are supposed to be supposed to be instant winners on here. I don't even know what to look for for an instant winner. Free BAM big box. So we did not win once again. I've actually have talked to quite a few people who actually who have won. Uh I think some actually got a PlayStation 4 last month. Part of the BAM Facebook group, like the BAM com, uh community group, whatever it's called. Somebody actually got the PlayStation PlayStation 4 last month. Can't talk. So you can win. I've never won anything. Somebody has to, though. Here we go. This must be the movie prop replica. We have... This is going to be bad again. I'm not sure what that's from. I know. I know. Roast me in the comment section. Back this says, no matter who you are, you will always be a bammer. I'm not sure what that's what that's goes to. I don't know, but it's a movie prop replica of something. 
We'll find out at the very end of this video. We'll look at a cheat sheet and have to tell me who's a trading card and who this thing is of, because I don't know. Next, we have a hat. Oh, it's actually autographed too. So this is actually the autographed item in this month. Here's the Beckett Authentication Certificate, which will match the hat. And we have, hat, hat's pretty crunched. Really crunched. We have, oh, it's moved from the movie The Sandlot. There's the Beckett sticker that'll match the certificate. And it is, oh, that says Squints. From the actor who played Squints on uh, The Sandlot. That's a little different. Hat's kind of crunched though. They should have actually used a taller box. Look look at the height. So they actually you, you had to damage the hat and crunch the hat to get it to fit into the box, which now you have just a crunch damaged hat. So you should have used a bigger box. Like here, next to me, which will be I'll be doing soon. Here's the BAM gamer box. Right here. You see how tall the BAM gamer box is? The hat fits in it. <laughs> that would have fit in this size box. So yeah, bam, you should have put us in a bigger box. Because now all the hats are going to be crunched and damaged. But I actually already have two autograph of squints. I have an autograph Funko Pop and an autograph 8x10. So I will be selling this hat. Uh, one, because it's crunched. I don't really want a crunched item in my collection. I already have a couple things by squints. But that's a nice item though. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice item. Then I think the only thing left might be the art print. Yep, last item, we have an art print. Who is it of? We have, oh, that's neat, Bill and Ted. This is from the newest, I mean, the new movie just came out, Bill and Ted's, uh, or Bill and Ted Face the Music. I freaking love the movie, I thought it was fantastic. And this is actually pretty cool art print. Bill and Ted. This is numbered 1,673 out of 2,200. It is signed by the artist. It just says back of it, Ship of Authenticity, this fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to Bambox and has been hand signed by the artist. It is guaranteed to be authentic. Artist and print title can be verified at BAMAuthentic.com. That's actually a very cool art print. I like that. It's actually really neat. I don't keep most art prints anymore because I had, I had too many. This is one I actually might have to keep. Here we go. Last thing. Just the cheat sheet. Let's see. Let me show you. I'll show you this card first. This is what we're looking at in this video. This is the cheat sheet telling us everything that is in this box. There's our side of the card telling us a few things. Comes with a scratch off. We didn't win. But here we go. Fan art print. Says the Wild Stallions return has been 29 years since the last Bill and Ted, so we had to honor the return and face the music. This righteous art print from Dean McAdam is just what we hope for. Oh, and be sure to check out if you're one of the lucky ones who got a variant print, dude. So the variant print's actually the exact same print, just it's just different colors. Fan art pin. That I lost. Here we go. You've been waiting for new mutants to come out and show us the darker side of it. Oh, that's from the new mutants. <laughs> That's not Stranger Things. Uh, so we've asked Brian Romero to give us a crossover pin set with the horror box. We're pleased We're pleased to bring you Cannonball, Wolf's Bane, and Magic with the rest of the team. So you can the you have the short prints and then the mass-produced one. From New Mutants. That's not Stranger Things. Celebrity Autograph. Hurry up, Benny. My clothes are going out of style. We are excited to bring you a signed cap from Squints himself, Chauncey Leopard. This item is sure to delight any fan of the Sandlot. I like it. I just wish you didn't crunch the hat and damage the hat in the box. You should have gotten a bigger box. Prop replica. What is this thing? We're huge fans of sci-fi. Altered Carbon on Netflix. Have I seen Altered Carbon on Netflix? I don't know. Maybe? Yeah? I don't know. So we got the chance to grab some cortical stacks. We jumped at it. We just wonder whose mind is stored on this one. I haven't seen it then. <laughs> Artist select card. Wherever it went, I don't know. Part two of this Wonder Woman card set. Jason Miller brought us the Nefarious Cheetah. Pair her with against Wonder Woman. So it's Wonder it's Cheetah from the Wonder Woman series. Nailed it. <laughs> so for 30 bucks, this is good value. Good value. Like the autograph is is worth the price of the box, but man, why'd you have to crunch the hat? Put it in a bigger box next time, Bam Box. Bigger box. 
don't damage the items. So, all in all, this actually was a good box. Two thumbs up. Art print was awesome. Hat was cool, but damaged. So, yeah. That's the Bam Geek. Uh, this one was Volume 5, Box 8. I'll see you next time.